Thank you, Mr. President. At the outset, allow me to thank you for convening this meeting. An unprecedented global consensus was achieved in Cairo in 1994 as ICPD marked a departure from the ongoing discussion on controlling population growth and shifted the emphasis of population policies to improving lives of individuals, particularly of women, to induce demographic and societal changes. This agreement that population policies should address society, social development, especially advancement of women, and that family planning should be provided as a part of a broader package of healthcare, enlarged the scope of policy interventions. Underlying this new emphasis was a belief that enhancing individual health and realization of their rights would ultimately lower birth rate and slow population growth. The policies spawned by this consensus continue to evolve and guide action to address challenges and opportunities ari arising from demographic dynamics even today. Mr. President, India's commitment to ICPD and its program of action remains firm. It is evident in the policies and programs in the context of SDG implementation, an integrated service-oriented approach in the line with ICPD program of action continue to guide our actions towards fulfilling the needs for services and social protection, especially for women, children, youth, and older persons in pursuit of inclusive growth. One sixth of global population resides in India. Rapid strides taken by India in eradication of extreme poverty has been well recognized. According to a recent UNDP report, India is one of the countries that has achieved significant reduction in multidimensional poverty without leaving the poorest, the poorest groups behind. As a step towards universal health coverage, in September 2018, India has launched the world's largest healthcare program, National Health Protection Scheme, to provide medical treatment coverage to nearly 500 million people. <coughs> India is also taking ambitious action towards preserving the environment through a renewable energy transition, eliminating plastic pollution, and promoting usage of pollution-free vehicles. The International Solar Alliance, championed by India and France, is taking strides towards tangible contribution to global climate action. In 2014, India launched the largest sanitation and hygiene program in the world, the Clean India Mission, to make India open defecation free and to achieve scientific waste management by October 2019. India is a young nation with half of the population under 25 years of age. The focus is on harnessing demographic dividend by creating opportunities through skill and entrepreneurship development and by using digital technologies to improve access to information and knowledge. Maternal and child health has remained a priority for India. Substantial reduction in maternal and infant mortality has been achieved by incentivizing institutional deliveries, newborn health care, and family planning. Family planning has been integrated into reproductive maternal, ch newborn, child, and adolescent health strategy of India. India has continued its efforts to expand the range and reach of contraceptive options and to meet unmet contraceptive needs. Better education and health facilities for women, greater participation of women in governance at grassroots levels, coupled with enhanced access to family planning services, have contributed to rapid fall in fertility rate and population growth rate in India. India has been strengthening global partnership for sustainable development through South-South and Triangular Cooperation. Through the India-UN Development Partnership Fund, India supports a project to improve availability of data for tracking progress of the ICPD agenda in the framework of SDGs. Mr. President, in conclusion, allow me to reiterate India's firm commitment to ICPD and its program of action to address the current demographic challenges as well as opportunities, both nationally and globally. I thank you.